there was a an offering before the foundation of the world to ensure yeah. that there mm. would be restoration that was predestined it was it was always going to it always happened to deal with everything that might have happened subsequently to that um and so it was guaranteed that we would have a restored relationship with god yeah that was guaranteed even before we set out because god his desire his will his purpose is for relationship and therefore he made sure that relationship would be able to be restored so that happened before the foundation of the world it was outworked in time because we did choose to go our own way and we then did choose to do things our own way and ultimately all the religions that we've created most of them require some sort of works based sacrificial thing so jesus took our place in dying our death and that was the issue it was death the issue there was no punishment or any other things that was all the trappings we put around it for god's perspective there was just man chose to walk independently of god and leave the immortal state and therefore death was the consequence of losing our identity as sons sons are immortal death is a consequence of lost identity therefore jesus took our identity took our lost identity totally identified with our total lostness and overcome death for us that was the point he overcame death there was no need for uh, a sacrificial offering in any sense in that in the way that religion that paints it he took our death jesus offered himself to take death before the foundation of the world you know that that's what he did um therefore what happened in when jesus died he overcame death he conquered death he was resurrected and everyone now lives resurrected life so everyone who was in their own lost identity separated from god now when they restored find their realization of their true identity find that they're not separated they're already reconciled reconciliation has already taken place it's only people's lack of experiencing that is the issue that's what the resurrection did so you know, jesus died as he said he was going to and he was resurrected as he says he was going to and then in that resurrection he then restored mankind back to um, a state of being able to engage with god um, and if you think of what god did to adam and breathed into him the breath of life in the beginning then jesus after the resurrection came back to his disciples as he said he would in john 14 and then breathed into them the breath of life so they then were born from above the second time they were born from above when god breathed into mankind adam in everyone in adam died spiritually and obviously physically as well um and then in jesus everyone was made alive spiritually and physically so there is a resurrection that took place and jesus breathed into his disciples and received the holy spirit so that now the restored relationship that they had before they went on their own path is now available so that happened on the day of resurrection jesus came went into the upper room and breathed into his disciples and said receive the holy spirit since that point every human being has become alive and able to engage god but if someone doesn't know that then they don't live in the reality of what is true they're living uh, an illusion an illusion as a man thinks in his heart so is he if you think you're separated you live in a separated manner but we're actually not separated no one is separated the holy spirit is within every living being within every human being looking to reveal their identity in relationship with the father that is not something that ha happens it's already happened it's a realization of it 
that enables us to partake of what that means. And that's a renewing of our mind process to come into the fullness of what that means. Um, and, you know, if you think of we are becoming who God intended us to be in relationship with him, then we need a deeper relationship with him to have a deeper revelation of who we are. And that's a sort of face-to-face -face relationship that we need, not through a mediator. And that's the problem. All religion is mediation. That separates us from God and puts something in the middle between us and God. That's right. When we look straight into his face, we see back reflected the image that he made us in. You know, that is why we need to engage in intimacy with God and not be separated from him with by anything, you know, uh, be it any religious thing or anything we do. But in reality, nothing can separate anyone from the love of God. You know, so it says in Romans 8. You know, not nothing created can separate us from the love of God, and that includes us. You know, but it appears that we're separated only in the illusion of our own minds. Unfortunately, most people are still deceived by that separation and don't think they are. And unfortunately, you know, uh, they are experiencing that uh, sadly. You know, and it is sad, you know, it is sad that what Jesus has done and accomplished for us is not experienced by the majority of people on the planet, sadly. Um, but I believe more and more people will begin to become aware because I believe we're in on the verge of an awakening to who God truly is as love. You know, and that will mean people have a real relationship with him because perfect love casts out all fear of separation, punishment, and everything else. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.